Hello. Today we are going to see a special verb. Can. All right. First of all, we have to clarify something. Modal verbs. Can is a modal verb. What are modal verbs? They are something like a super verb. What are the characteristics of a modal verb? Well, first of all, they always, always accompany another verb. I can ski, for example. They never, never, never use an auxiliary and change form. So for the negative, you say, I can't ski. And three, they have a meaning. If you want, in Spanish, can would be poder. Today we will concentrate on one mode of can. We use it to express abilities. What can you do? For example, what musical instruments can you play? I can play the violin. And she can play the guitar. Yes, do you notice the verb can accompanied by play and no change to the verb can? So, let's practice two or three sentences. What sports can you play? I can play soccer. Or they can dance. He can jump. Definitely. And we can ride a bike. Wow, he can skate. Do you remember this movie? I can see dead people, the boy says. It can feel the wind. Okay, let's see what happens when we have to form the question. Superman can fly. Now, let's see if we can form the question. You know that we form something like a sandwich. In the middle, we put the subject. He, she, I, Superman can fly. So, we have no auxiliaries, the modal verb goes to the position of the auxiliary. So, we form, can he fly? The answer, yes, he can. Or no, no, he can't. Okay, one more example to fix the idea. She can fight. So, we have to form the question. The person subject goes in the middle and then can fight. Can she fight? Yes, she can. Or no, she can't. More example. He got so, can he break everything? Yes, definitely. Yes, he can. Or, no, he can't. So, let's see some examples in real use. The child asking, can I use the computer? Or, can you give me something to eat? Can you help me, please? All right, let's see the negative. The penguin. What do you know about penguins? Can penguins fly? No. So this is not right. We need not. The question is that in general we use the auxiliary. Do not, does not. With modal verbs, we don't. So, 
we move the verb we put not together to, to the mode together with the modal and we say it cannot fly or you make it shorter it can't fly catch it two or three more examples what do you think about this is he in conditions of playing mm, don't know not so he cannot play he can't play Oh, apparently it will be impossible to go home. Mm. They cannot go home. Okay, some examples. You can't have a biscuit before dinner. Oops, the car can't be repaired. Can we freeze eggs? Mm, no, we can't freeze eggs. What about this one? Is it real? Oh, it can't be real. What's that? Can crocodiles cry? Yes, believe it or not, crocodiles can cry. In fact, they cry when they are eating. Okay, remember that if you have any questions, you can contact us by mail, uh, in the forum, or in class, of course. See you!